Hello, readers of Dave's excellent blog. Um, sorry for the brief interlude from the general excellence of this blog that you're going to have to sort of spend a few minutes listening to me waffle on as part of Dave's Teachers in Turkey series. Um, right now I'm going through that, um, that period a lot of people who write blogs go through at some point when um, you know they can't think of anything to write <laughs> and they're not particularly motivated to write and it's just yeah, yeah, nothing going on up here. So I thought um, I'll just record a little video for you instead. All right, welcome to my office. Here we go. Um, books. Okay, look, I'm a real teacher, honest. Okay, we've got uh, Raymond Murphy here. Focus on grammar. Uh, some dictionaries. Okay, this is my little collection of books. So, what do I do? Um, I teach at a university in Turkey, Sabancı University, and I teach at the School of Languages. And our job is um, to prepare our students to um, study academically using English as their language of communication, which is, you know, it's a good job, you know, what with me speaking English quite well and everything. Uh, it suits me nicely. Um, I thought for this, I, this series of blog posts, uh, my contribution, I'd, you know, because I'm, you know, I've got the, the old blog block going on up here. I thought I'd just describe something that I did in class yesterday and um, how something that was a little bit silly actually developed into a really good activity and how this relates to um, my situation and just something that you know you might want to think about in your teaching. If you think it's rubbish just leave a comment underneath and tell me, oh Adam you idiot what are you talking about? Okay so um, we're teaching in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning to one o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. Um, it's a bit rough especially um, as it's um, Ramadan so a lot of my students aren't eating yeah so that's you know it, it can make them they can be really tired and grumpy and irritable so you've got to sort of you know mix things up a little bit sometimes and um, yesterday uh, nine o'clock we were doing this really heavy stuff where we were like we were looking at a text we were looking at things we could take from a text to um, use well to paraphrase and use in a piece of writing oof, yeah oof. all right so um that went on for the first lesson, you know, and I was losing the will to live after this. But fortunately, um, I had something else scheduled for after the first hour. But I was like, God, you know, we were, you know, that they were wilting. I was sitting at the front, going, "All right, I must find some way of getting over this little uh, malaise that we're all feeling." So, um, I just thought I'd mix it up a little bit, and um, we were doing a text. Actually, it was a listening, a lecture. A lecture, yeah, about 15 minutes of listening on um, elephants and um, how they're endangered, the reasons for why they're becoming an endangered species, and possible solutions to the endangerment. And I was like, oh, this this is not exactly that much more exciting than what I was doing in the first lesson. So, what on earth can I do first to get me up and moving and you know teaching and to uh, maintain their interest? So. Um, I've, admittedly, this was um, kind of a spur of the moment thing. I said, right guys, you know, here's a piece of paper, uh, draw a picture of an elephant. That's how I started the lesson. You know, they're looking at me, they're like, yeah, bloody hell, idiot, what's this man telling us to do? Draw a picture of an elephant. We've got an exam next week, teacher, you know, drawing a picture of an elephant. Well, you know, admittedly, <laughs> they weren't using a Yorkshire accent, you know, I'm working on that with them, but uh, no, no, not quite. Uh, but yeah, they were like, you know, what was going on? I said, look, draw a picture of an elephant. So they were like, okay. Um, so we got a series of pictures, and they said, you, you, okay, teacher, you draw an elephant as well. So I draw this blob <laughs> on on the whiteboard with kind of this trunky shaped thing sticking out at the front. And they all had a good laugh, and I said, all right, come on, you do it as well. So you know, they're all there, you know, drawing an elephant. And I was walking around like, well, you know, so. Some of them are quite artistic, and this gives them, like, gives their brain a bit of a, you know, something that they can do really well. And they're like, look, you know, hey, look, this is an elephant. I'm like, yeah, actually, yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks like an elephant. And um, some of them, it was just a horrendous, horrendous mess of, like, lines. And, um, you know, it was like, that's even worse than mine. And they're like, yeah, I know, you know, we're not, you know, we're learning a language here, teacher. We're not practicing our artistic skills. But anyway, it was a, it was a bit of a laugh, you know, and everyone was like, okay, that's good. It gave the brain, you know, something different to do, 
and don't underestimate the um, the value of doing that sometimes. Uh, just giving the brain a quick two minutes to do something different. And um, they came out with some quite different things actually. You know, it's funny because you've got your you've got your Asian subcontinent, your Indian elephant, and you've got your African elephant. And as we as we all know, there are great differences between the two in terms of size and uh, tusks and and stuff like that and size of the ears which um, is all information in, in the lecture actually and some of them are drawn an Indian-esque elephant with, um, without tusks and others are drawn the African elephant which as we all know is the tusked variety <laughs> so it was good we you know from their pictures we were able to sort of say okay what characteristics have you, dr you drawn on this and just from some stupid little picture we were able to sort of um, pull out all the um, vocab because believe it or not tusk and uh, trunk aren't exactly everyday items that you know you're going to go around teaching but for this particular instance they were absolutely vital because um, you know animals being killed for the ivory in their tusks is you know one of the reasons they become endangered so a stupid little doodle picture that took two minutes at the start of the lesson actually drew out the vocabulary and then say okay you know why are they injured and then you know there was oh it's the elephant's teeth you know because that's that's what ivory is in Turkish it's, it translates as elephant tooth you know which it is <laughs> so yeah just doing something two minutes silly little thing and then I said okay let's um let's put the uh, parts of the elephants on the picture so they were like okay tusks um, trunk big ears for African smaller ears for Indian and um, they were like, oh, you know, so, so something that I just thought would relieve, you know, the the intensity actually turns out to be a really nice way of leading into the lecture. And they were still referring back to their pictures while they were sort of, you know, making their lecture notes, which was really cool. So what point am I trying to make here? All right. Um, sometimes it's good to go. That's left. Go left field just for a minute or two just completely do something different you know and in this case I was like well this will be fun it'll be funny we can have a bit of a laugh but you know it just turned out that it you know it developed into something useful which I could then use for the rest of the lesson and um, teaching 17 18 19 year olds um, getting them to laugh collectively at a situation can um, relieve a lot of sort of pressure, stress, tension, it can lighten the mood and you know I always do it first and I look at my stupid picture on the board and it, it just you know give them something else to do forget about the language learning but if you're gonna do something like that think well okay this starts off being silly but it's actually gonna lead in to what the subject and I can draw a lot of your knowledge out and see what you know we can start discussing the theme of what we're doing today so if you're if you're teaching based on content, look for little ways to sort of lighten the mood and make it a bit more fun, because it'll really make your day a lot better. All right, okay. Thanks for watching. Um, keep reading Dave's blog. Uh, you could even like pop over and have a look at mine if you want. It's not that bad either. Okay, thanks a lot.